This set of slides were organized by Professor Alemi. This section of the course introduces you to standard query language and key commands within it. SQL is a standard language for accessing and manipulating relational databases. SQL is an American National Standards Institute's standard. Its core commands are the same across vendors. The current standard is from 1999, which is incredibly long time for a standard to remain stable. This is, a part, this is in part due to the fact that SQL is well suited to the task of data manipulation. The data manipulation language is designed to add, change, and remove data from a database. In this section, we primarily focus on data manipulation commands. Some examples of SQL commands include commands to retrieve data from a database, to insert data in a database, to update data already in the database, and to delete data from a database. SQL also includes data definition language. These commands are used to create a database, modify its structure, and destroy it when you no longer need it. We will later discuss how one creates tables or deletes them. There are also different table, types of tables. There are, for example, temporary tables of data that delete when you close your SQL data management software. SQL also includes data control language. These commands protect the database from unauthorized access, from harmful interaction among multiple database users, and from power failures and equipment malfunctions. We will not cover these commands in this course. The list of SQL commands is short. That's the good news. Your task is simple. The bad news is that these commands can be used in a variety of ways to accomplish different tasks. In this section of the course, we go over five of these commands, select, into, from, where, and group by commands. One usually learns the format for the command through searches on the web. I assume that you can do so on your own. In fact, whatever you, whenever you run into an error, you should always search for the error on the web, and you will see many instances of others posting solutions to your problem. Do this first, because this is the best way to get your problem solved. Most students of SQL admit that they learn more from the web searches than from any instruction. The beauty of such search is that you learn just enough to solve your problem at hand. SQL code is not compiled, and you can run just a small portion of the code. This helps debug faster, as the portion with the error can be quickly identified. Lack of compiling does reduce the speed of the code, but it improves debugging. Anything to the right of the two dashed lines is considered a comment and ignored by a SQL server. When you have an error that's particularly difficult to figure out, comment out the code line by line until you find the line where the error is occurring. To understand SQL commands, always seek an example that demonstrates the command. Don't just read about the command, try it out on data. Take a look at a simple example and make it work. You can learn the exact format and other examples later. You can't learn SQL without practice, and you can't practice without downloading some data and writing a SQL code. SQL is not learned from books. Keep trying it out and eventually you will become proficient.